Okay. Okay. All gas, no brakes. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. We've been working since, <sighs> I don't know. 9.30. You got here at 9.30. Oh, no. I have to pee. Oh, no. I'm not going to go. I'm waiting. <sighs> okay. Good morning. Good morning. It's good, afternoon. Actually, good afternoon. Welcome to another episode of the Legacy Nuts Podcast. My name is Chelsea. My name is Sue. I'm the daughter, mother. Mother, grandmother. And we are coming to you from northern Vermont, from Crooked Fiber Farms to this yeah. week. Look, I redid the room. It's so beautiful. <sighs> Honestly, I think that was our background that last time, too. We were just closer to it. It was, but yeah, it feels so good because they can't see the rest of it. No, it's but beautiful. it's beautiful in here. It's a beautiful room. Mm -hmm. You're going to do a walkthrough soon. Yes, that is going to be on our to-do list. Yeah, we're sure. going to do a walkthrough because we, last weekend, I finished unpacking 90% of the boxes, which feels so good. Like the hallway, you can walk in it now. Mm -hmm. Like there was boxes, mm -hmm. not even boxes, like Tupperware. Yeah. It was now, just, you guys know, the mid-move move. shuffle of everything. Yeah. We've been here almost uh, like a little over six months, I think. Mm -hmm. And it's, what I've discovered is the beginning of every season is so hard for me. Because all of it's brand new. Exactly. So like feeling spring come on is like, oh, it's so hard. Well, and yesterday you were like, I think we have peonies. Yeah, yeah. It's just so exciting because you have no idea what the landscape is going to look no like. No idea because we came in the fall. We had some idea, but not a lot. Right. Um, but yeah, I think it's like remembering like now I'm thinking about our mm -hmm. other house in the spring and it, it's just part of the process and totally. it's all good. It's all good. Totally. I'm not complaining. But we finished unpacking. I love it. It looks fantastic. I love it. Mm -hmm. it just every, every little like change you make it just feels more and more like you yes because it is that you have no clue when you first move in mm -hmm. what it's going to be like and like where you want things mm -hmm. and I've just been really pretty adamant about moving things so that it feels better mm -hmm. and it's working yeah so it's there working. so that's where we are and um welcome to any new viewers we hope you enjoy oh, yeah. your time here and welcome back to any returning viewers we are yes. so pleased to have you. We are, and we're loving doing the weekly podcasts. Mm -hmm. uh, last week was Easter, so we can't count that. Yeah. Um, we're loving doing it, and we're loving how much other people are loving it. Yes, and it was so nice to read your feedback about... Okay. Um, <laughs> little glitch. Little glitch, little panic attack. Little, Just Might little. still have a little undertone of panic, to be honest, because be until honest. I put it on the computer... Yeah. Okay, we're going to try our hardest. We're going to keep going, though. So, yeah, um, my knitting mojo has been through the roof. My making mojo has been through the roof. I am yeah. so enjoying everything. And I think this room being cleaned up is Helps. helping a lot. Mm -hmm. um, the idea for me of resting mm. is really staying with me. Mm -hmm. After I put in a full day of work, like, I can't wait to get to my making. Mm -hmm. It's good. Work-life balance. Yeah. That's it. I'm really working on it. I feel like I do it well sometimes and not very well others. You don't have as much control over it, though. I don't. You don't. I don't. You don't. Like, at, when I was you, oh my gosh. I you do work try my when hardest. You, can, yeah. you get frustrated when you can't and you want to. Uh -huh. And I feel like I have the luxury of making decisions I do and I don't because then work has to get done right so but I try to I try to keep it in a healthy perspective right I know I think that's really important it is you help me with it a lot in oh, a very subliminal way yes you do good you do so there yeah well I'm finding such peace in making I think I am too Just, now that you say that it's such a and I feel like I'm being more productive work-wise mm -hmm. because of it. Because you've had downtime to mm -hmm. restore. Yeah. yeah. I um, I think I'm coming out of my vanilla knitting. <gasps> not by a lot. Not no. by a lot. But I will say, and I knew this was going to happen. So Molly of a Homespun House. Molly, oh, if you're Molly. watching this, hello. I love you and I miss you. No, We um, need to do a FaceTime with her. I know. I haven't chatted with her in so long. Yeah. But she came out with a new podcast episode. And I saw it pop up. And I was like, don't watch it yet. Don't watch it yet. I've saved it. I'm gonna. And then 
I think it must have been over the weekend. I think it might have been Saturday. I feel like you said that, yeah. I watched it. And I knew I was going to walk away from that podcast with new cast-ons. Mm -hmm. And I sure did. And because literally anything she makes, I'm like, well, I have to make it. Mm. I want to make I that. Because she makes everything look so cozy and good and like, oh. Yeah. She just has so much joy to her and I love that. And um, so anyways... I started a new project. Should we start talking? I'll just kind of, like we said, we're just going to pepper it in. The knitting content. Oh my God. Yeah. This camera craps the bed. It's not going to, but it, I'm no, just so okay. afraid now. I am too. It's okay. Um, so I'm going to show you what I walked away with um, working on after watching Molly's podcast. But first I'll just show you what I'm knitting on because <gasps> it drives me crazy when someone's knitting on something and I'm like, what is it? What is it? What is it? Yeah. What is it? I'm working on a muscle burra hat by Isolde Teague. Nothing new here. You this love is, them so I much. I love these projects. Um, but this is just an orange that I dyed back when I was dyeing yarn. I love it. It's in a our, really great orange. I do really like it. It's a really great orange. Um, it's in our Cozy Toes base, and I'm knitting it for Justin um, for the rest of the spring and then fall and winter. Just a nice, simple mm -hmm. hat. He doesn't want it to be floppy. He wants it to be very fitted to his head. I get that. Um, so it's going to be a shorter tube, which mm. is kind of nice. Mm. Um, but that's what I'm working on right now. And the girls stole the two that you've been showing, and they're perfect for them. I love it. I love that they stole them because it means that they love them, mm -hmm. and it means I get to make another one for myself. I agree. <laughs> I think it's amazing that they love them. Mm -hmm. Same. I might have to make Jake and Ben one for Christmas next year. You should if you like. If you don't want to, I will make them. I I'm, I think I'm avoiding them because I'm going to get so addicted to them. <laughs> Because I watch you and think like, oh yeah, that's going to be Because me. it's literally around and around. How mm -hmm. can you go wrong with that? Yeah. Okay. So Molly has knit a handful of these and I've seen her talk about them before, but something about w watching her and listening to her talk about them this time Made just like want it. got me. They're beautiful. This is the Birds and Ships Cowl by Caitlin Hunter. It is minuscule. It is not minuscule. But it's pretty small. It's small. I think the girls. This one is going to be for the kiddos. And I should have been more aware. And I normally am more self-aware when I'm picking out needles for a project. Because I am on the tighter side. So you need to go up one. So I'm going to try this. So the pattern itself calls for a US 4. And so that's what I used. But the next one I cast on is going to be with a US 5. And um, I don't know. I think this is going to be great for the kids. I think so. And I think they're going to love them. I think they might too. And I also haven't blocked it yet. Now I'm using our 100% Merino base. So it's a non superwash yarn. There's no nylon in there. Love so it. it's not going to stretch as much as a yarn with nylon mm. would. And it's espresso bean and it's delicious. It's espresso bean. It has a beautiful little halo. Mm. Our lighting's a little bit funky today, but mm. hopefully you can get the gist. And listen, I am not, I am infamously maybe not infamously, but I talk a lot about how I'm not a huge lace knitter. Mm. It drives me crazy a little bit. This is so easy to follow, easy to yeah. read. And you're reading it off a chart. Reading it off charts a chart? charts for mm -hmm. me are, there's no other way. There's no other way. And it's so funny because I remember when I was so intimidated by a chart. And oh, I would, yeah. And if there was written directions and a chart, I would always choose the written Same. directions. Until. And then one day you were like, oh, one day you're going to just want to read that chart. And mm -hmm. I literally was like, well, maybe I'll just read the directions because I didn't want to have to go down and do the, the Literally, there were too many words. I was like looking at the yeah. wrong. And I was like, no, 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 no. Chart. Well, and the more you do it, the more the symbols, like for my sweater, they make complete sense. Totally. You don't even need to look at what it means. It's like it's the lines going in the right direction. Right. And Exactly. Yeah. It's also, how many row repeat? It looked pretty small. Ten. Oh, ten. That's mm -hmm. not bad. Well, it's ten, but then you know every other row is, is like a, a rest. reset row. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Um, and it is, I can't remember if I said, but it's by Caitlin Hunter. It is a gorgeous pattern, and I am just like, I love. The thing that sold me on it was when Molly showed it, she was wearing it, and it hugs her neck really nicely. Mm -hmm. Like, it has a nice little bit of bunching, but it hugs. Hugs. And I am not someone who likes a droopy cowl. I like see, something. I see, and I, for me, I need, it's all about mm. effectiveness. I like both, mm -hmm. but I am not kidding. I am so tempted to do that in chunky yarn. I would love to see it in chunky yarn. I know. Yarn. I'm really tempted to do it with a chunky. It's so... Yeah. The pattern itself is so fun. 
There's n very little purling because mm -hmm. this is all, so you work, I'm not gonna give away too much, but you work where you see the garter here, you're working that flat back and forth. Oh. And then you pick up and you join. So clever. Right here. And then as you start working, because you can see if I were to hold it, so my stomach is making such weird noises right now. But you can kind of see how so pretty the shape's a little bit different. And you know what I'm seeing is like if somebody's like, yeah, but I want it to have a little more pop or whatever, I could see breathe. A hundred percent. Breathe or um, painter's palette or painter's smock or that. And after dinner mints. After dinner mints in the cozy toes. That's cozy toes. That's that's what I think I'm going to knit. Yeah. That, that's what I'm going to knit with this next. Yeah. When I cast I on love, mine. I love earthy crunchy. Like that is who I am as a knitter mm -hmm. to the core is mm -hmm. the earthy crunchy. But if you want it to have like a little dressier or you have a favorite sweater or jacket that you wanted to go with. Mm -hmm. Well, I fully intend on knitting a handful of these. Like yeah. this is not, this is my first one. And um, I am kind of bummed that I didn't do it on more of a bright color now that it's going to end up with the kids. <sighs> well, yeah, but it, it's really nice in that color. I do love, and I'm going to knit myself one in this color mm, too, because I yeah. have two skeins of this. Yeah. Um, How much does it take? Because like you've got a lot left here. What does it? Let me look at my pattern, which I've been using on my iPad, which is a she huge, has. sorry, shook the camera, huge game changer. I know. Your iPad is gigantic. It is gigantic and I love it. I know. You use it a lot. I, I do use it a lot. I used to, I have an iPad mini. That was my favorite thing on earth. Yeah. Are you going to do the tassel? No. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to. We'll see. It's going to be a game time decision. Yeah. I, I like a tassel. 400 yards. Oh, so quite boy. But I wonder if that also accounts for the tassel. tassel. Which that wouldn't be a ton. Wouldn't be a ton, but yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love it. Yeah. I so that's it. my latest project. I'll be making one, don't worry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm working on, I'm pretty sure Michelle told me this morning, it's April showers. So pretty. Woolens and Nosh, my favorite self straper. 100% Targi, right? Targi. Mm -hmm. Love it. Love it, love it. Very springy, but I love it. With my, oh my gosh, from Denise for her her book sock knitting cal. Yes, and I have one too. Thank you so much, Denise. Thank I you, meant Denise. to send you a message yesterday and I I sent her a, a quick one. Not okay. not not appropriate enough. Just a simple thank you. Expect but, a flood of love. <laughs> exactly. Love it. Love it. And I yes. don't always use, I forget how I'm love jewelry for my knitting. Oh, I love it. I have so many like mm. Sucra Sucra that I love and they're just sitting. Or even Maria from Woolen, Woolen's and uh, Woolen Forest. Woolen. Yeah. Oh, I have, that's, I, have, I that's don't what think I have on she's here. been making them lately. What is that of? It's just a piece, just because she uses a lot of natural stones in hers. Oh, that's beautiful. So I had this on my high. I actually need to move it. But this is beautiful. from Maria. She has an Etsy shop and it's yeah. so pretty. I don't know that she's been doing as much lately. I, I haven't have... noticed, but I love her. Mm -hmm. I do too. I love everything about her. Mm. So yeah, so I just picked this up in between. I love it. I worked a little on my sweater, but I always talk about my stitching here and I never bring it mm -hmm. ever. This one's so fun. I can't wait for you to show it. Look at that. Look at that. It's so good. So weird. So I've been really struggling trying to figure out what I want to stitch. I can't get into a rhythm. Mm. And one morning I was, I always do my making in the morning when I wake up, I take like an hour to two hours, depending on what time I wake Four up. Four hours, five hours. Yeah. I, I'm out of bed by 10 of eight to do my live at eight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why. And so I was laying there and I'm like, I really want to be stitching. And then this popped into my head and I actually, this sounds like so weird, but I actually got out of bed and got it, which is not something I'd be like, yeah, I'll get it tomorrow. Yeah. I am obsessed. Was it already started? Or did it was started, but okay. like tiny, tiny okay. bit. I think I have about 20 to 30 more stitches to put up top. There's some birds and a, like a white cap. And then I'm missing this color, but I'm going to find something Similar that'll enough, fit yeah. in there. Isn't it fabulous? So Barbara Anna Designers designs dream hold on hold please hold the phone hold 
the phone. I need to find my chapstick. I was like trying oh, to subtly I have, do it. Well, I, I definitely have somewhere. it. I have like four with me because I intentionally threw them all in. I do the same thing, but then I don't know where I yep. intentionally oh, cool. put them. I feel like I know I have one here. Oh, I got it. Got it. Okay. Okay. Sorry. 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 <laughs> it sounds like Lily. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. I'm just sorry. so interested. I'm just so interested. <laughs> love. I love when she I says know, that. I'm I just know. so interested. Isn't it so fabulous? Pretty. Like ridiculously pretty. I know. It's done on our fabric, which I am dying this week. So if you are a person that uses our fabric, um, Rachel's shop will have it in it within, she's away, um, probably within a week or two. And she'll send out her newsletter. Make sure you're on her list. But it's Nor'easter. I believe so it's 40 count. So I'm sending this off to our dear, dear friend, Paige the Framer, and I want a, so ridiculous. I think it's going to be gorgeous. I want a gigantic gold carved frame around this tiny little beautiful thing. It's going to be stunning. It's my favorite way to frame. Mm -hmm. The smaller the piece, the bigger the frame. Well, look at that over there. I know. Look at that over there. It's yeah. And then my... Gorgeous. um. Miss Mary Mac. Yes. Huge frame. Small it's, piece. Love, love it. it. Love it. <laughs> love it. So that's my stitching. It's so... And you said um, you guys are going to do a floss toss soon? Soon. Whenever She's, she gets back. Yeah. Rachel's away. When she gets back, we'll do a toss. Mm -hmm. Might be gone by then, though, because I'm really anxious. It's gorgeous. I can't really take my eyes off of it. It's so, the colors, the design, it's so whimsical and spring-like. That's it. It's just, it makes, I think that's why I love whimsical art. Yeah. It just makes me happy. Yeah. It just makes me like feel brighter. So yeah, I did that. I agree. I love that. You wanna mm -hmm. see what I got? Oh my gosh. Well, should we talk about Easter a little bit? Okay, talk about Easter. Well, only because I feel like you need the setup to like how it was given to you. Oh, yes. So, Easter. Was you great. guys, it was great. It was so relaxing. The guys went out for a bike ride. We yep. sat in it. The girls did their thing. Mm -hmm. The girls were outside playing. They Bubbles, got sweets. unicorn bubble holder. Mm -hmm. It was just. Well, not a whole, it's a bubble wand. So, wand. literally, it's this big, chunky plastic unicorn and bubbles fly when yeah. it turns on and it has music the music i'm like come on shut it off shut that thing off <laughs> shut it off it's they're but so cool but the music they had so much fun on the swings pointing them at each other yes. i'm sure you guys have seen our tree swings which are the best thing in the world the best investments ever and well, I, I will link them down below mm. i say that i hope i remember try. to link them down below but i have to say even when you're not here and i'm in the kitchen what? and i look at them <gasps> i know to me, that's like dreamy Grammy's house. Yes. Like that is the, like, yep. they will say, remember when we used to go to Grammy's? And I we... remember my Grammy swing. Exactly. Someone walking, sorry. Exactly. So I love how special that is. So, but Justin walks in and he was like, Sue, I wish you'd stop having packages delivered to my house. And I was really confused. Like, I don't know what he's talking about, but... For Ben's birthday, we got him the office Lego set, mm -hmm. and I ordered it three times. Because it kept getting shipped, shipped to the wrong place. to our house in Connecticut. Mm -hmm. I really got to watch that credit card and make sure we didn't pay for it three, three times. Three times, I know. We did call and cancel each time. So I was like, is it possible? And I opened it up. I must stand. I will try and also insert the video footage of when she oh opened my gosh. it, the it surprise. Was so much fun. So all of them chipped in. Sorry, Chelsea. No, no, no. Keep pushing me up. And bought up. me the Legos Hocus Pocus. We decided it was an early birthday present. Justin was just so eager. I don't know what I know. it was. I he think he stop said himself. You, well, he was like, she keeps talking about it. She keeps talking about it. She might buy it. Yeah, that was his worry. He was yeah. like, I don't want her to buy it. Yeah. And so we, yeah, so Justin, myself, Jake, Ben, and Kristen. <gasps> yes, which I did, oh, I should have thanked Kristen, too. I didn't, Jake, I didn't realize he was in on it. But yes, he, all of us. Yes, and he mm -hmm. called last night, and he started talking about it, and I was like, oh, Jake, did you chip in, too? He's like, yeah, I was like, oh, my gosh. Yes. I didn't realize. Yes. So, oh, my gosh, we, I'm so excited. Yes, it's the dilemma now, and it's a real dilemma, is when do I make it? Oh, Justin's like, I hope she makes it now. 
I, you know what? I think I'm going to be sad that I did. Don't have it in. Yes. Yeah, I, I could see that. I feel like when fall starts coming mm -hmm. in and we get those urges way too early to watch. Totally. Like August, September. Yeah. I feel like September mm -hmm. is going to be, I'm so excited. Yeah. Our family has had a really, a, Lego. a big Lego. Um, Resurgence. Yes, resurgence. Yes, exactly. except for Jake. He was like, no, I'm done with that period in my life. He did do a lot of Legos back in the did day. He? Well, maybe not. I think I'm thinking I mean, Playmobil. He had a not. He had some, for sure. He had soccer. But that was when he was mm. older, too. He had the soccer set, which is downstairs. In oh, that yeah, big crate. that big bucket, yeah. I think maybe a Star Wars thing. Mm. I don't think any of you were like, oh, into Legos. Mm -hmm. I've never had Legos. Mm -mm. Like, as a kid, we ne I would have loved them, and we never had them. They're expensive. I mean, they're, they're expensive so back expensive. then. They're expensive now. They're, they're so not, expensive. The and price honestly, tag is not for the faint of heart. For the price of them, you have to want it desperately. So bad. Yeah. Because and that's what I love, like, with Justin now mm -hmm. and Benny. Oh, my gosh. He... Yeah. It's so funny. Well, and it's not to say it's not worth the price tag either. Like So worth it. They put so much, so much work into each of the kits. Do you think they'll sponsor us? Lego. Lego. We love you. You do such a good job just with your work. This hocus pocus thing, it just it's blew beyond. us out of the water. Beyond. Contact us. Now. Now. Please, Boy, thank we're you. waiting on Meryl. We're waiting on Glenn. Our DMs are open, people. <laughs> Wide open. We have to figure out how we can get Meryl some yarn. Oh if anyone God. knows how to get Meryl some yarn. Let us know. Should we hashtag, look up her Instagram, whatever. Does she have one? And I don't know. Tag her. We should probably know these things if we want to collaborate with these yeah. people. Anyways. Anyways. Here we go. <laughs> so, yeah, I have Legos. So, they're going to stay Not up just here. Legos. You have the epic Hocus Pocus house. Yes. I Lego. think Aunt Nancy sent me... The, I didn't even know about it. Yeah. She sent me the link like back in last fall. Yeah. And I remember thinking, I want that. Mm -hmm. It's such a, um, it's such a splurge. Oh, totally. Which and I, there's like a lighting element to I it. Know. So I think the house is going to light up. I'm going to have a special place for it. And then when it's no longer Halloween, it's going to go up there. I, I'm obsessed. I love how you have all your Halloween samplers in here. Yeah, I do. I love it. Yeah, I do because I can't put them away. They're so fantastic. No, they're too they're too good. They're too good. Yeah. Yeah, so that's that. All right. So you've been knitting on that. Been knitting on that. I've been knitting on my hat and then I cast on a blanket which I could show. <gasps> it's a cozy comfort throw. It's really pretty though. I'll show it. It's nothing crazy, but it is one of my favorite blanket patterns. Um You love that one. And I had all of the DK mini skein clubs. Winnie's home. Winnie's back. I love that. And I had bundles just like everywhere. And I finally, one day I was like, I want to cast one of these on. So I collected them all. I wound them all up. I lined the bottom of my basket with them and I cast on. It's beautiful. I honestly think I would get bored with that one. I, the long rows. I, nothing makes my heart happy. I know. And for me, it's more the, which I will show mine because. No. Oh, there we go. Sorry. I thought it was going to do it again. <sighs> no. I did pull mine out last night. I'll tell you when I pulled it out, and we'll talk about last night. Did you get... Oh, 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 your DK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's... I'm on row five, you guys. Yeah, and so she's talking about her DK jelly roll blanket. My appropriately very Length. long one. I love it. It's so good. Yeah, so I'm going in all... In getting all the old DK minis that I've been... Yeah. That's exactly there. what I did. Because I'm running out. Mm -hmm. So, first I was, no, I was so tired last night, like, after all day. Me too. I was exhausted. And honestly, we did so little. Putting on the dinner was not a big ordeal. There was, was something about that day where it was just like, oh, man. It was just tiring from being happy and full and all of that. Yeah. Okay, so then Dad says, should we start Shogun? <gasps> did you? So I, I was like, I'm going to knit. I'm not going to stitch because I knew I was going to have to be reading. Yes. It is, I do not like reading subtitles, especially on a show like that. It's, it, now, did you find it to be complicated? I found it to be incredibly stressful to watch. Now, what about? It's 
it's just too intense. Mm -hmm. I don't like violent. I don't oh. like violence. Yeah, this is not your show then. Yeah, I don't like violent shows. I like scary. Mm -hmm. not, intense. Yeah, I like intense, but I don't like violent. It just is so disturbing to me. Mm -hmm. Well, and in that day and time, that was basically, oh, that was just what like, it was. Just like, samurai. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> yeah. And you're just like, oh. And I'm like, oh. Why did that happen? So, and it's also bedtime. Yeah. And to watch something that violent before I fall mm -hmm. asleep just doesn't work for me. I totally get it. It doesn't work for me. So mm -hmm. I said, I'll try it. Dad said, I think you'll like it. Chelsea likes it. And I'm like, no, Chelsea likes things you like. I do, we do, you do. have that you in have common. very similar yes. taste. You, you also like what I like, but you add on. Totally. What yep. dad likes. Yep. Um, Three quarters of the way through, I said, I don't think this is for me at all. First of all, my eyes were killing me because the uh, TV's too far away and I can't see those. Yeah. And then it, again, it blurs in because of the color. It was like, oh, oh, the words. Yeah, Blended. the words. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. now I don't mind if dad watches it mm -hmm. while I'm in, because we watch, we do watch a lot of TV in bed. Yeah. Because we don't like to have to get up. I literally, Once I totally we're comfortable, get it. Mm -hmm. We're like, we don't want to have to then get up and walk upstairs. Right, because like, you're just going to turn on the TV upstairs, so why, uh, yeah. let's cut out the middleman. Yeah, so we have. Now, I don't mind if it's on and I'll turn over and read a book. Totally. Or because it has to be read, I just won't read. Right. And I won't look up. Right. So, yeah. So, it's not for me at all. That's fine. Yeah. I yeah. totally respect it and I totally understand it. Yeah. So it is a very specific type of show. It is, and it is the type. It's kind of like Game of Thrones. Very much. Very, yeah. very violent. Although and, this is much more historically based. Like this yes. is a true story. Yes. And I'm curious about it. Like I I will watch it like I watched Game of Thrones. I'll look up once in a while, but I'm not gonna invest my eyes <laughs> and my heart. <laughs> or your downtime. Yes, yeah. into it. Mm -hmm. That's fair. And you know what? Sometimes dad enjoys watching TV on his own because mm -hmm. then... He can just go through it. He can, like, if I run out or whatever, he can just watch. It. And he's traveling this week, so I think he might watch That'll it That'll be his then. travel show. Yeah, I'll just stick to... I like light, happy before I go to bed. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I really am influenced before I fall asleep. I think by, that's so normal. Yeah, yeah. So I was knitting on this, and I got excited about it again. And Yeah, blankets are such... There's something about them. There's something about them. It's and I just the lack of commitment to there. finishing. Yeah. Like, I know I'm not going to finish this anytime soon, and I'm happy about it. I know. You really enjoy it. Oh, I love it so much. Well, and let's face it, we're going to have, I feel like, a lot of outside time. Yes. In the next four or five months, mm -hmm. we're going to be outside a lot. And mm -hmm. I love the thought, even if it's hot, you can mm -hmm. throw it in another, like, direction. Yep. I love the thought of saying, let's go grab our blankets and go watch the girls swing. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, that sounds like heaven. So nice. Heaven. Uh, so yeah, so blankets. Those blankets. are that's our blankets. That's our blankets. Stuff. And I can show. I cast on one of our. I quickly. It's so funny. I was in this big sock. Like I just wanted to sock, 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 sock. I'm socks. getting there. I know. And I have slowly kind of like dabbled away from it, but not entirely. Like I do still want to finish mm -hmm. these socks. Um, but it's not my go-to. Oh, hang on, there it is. I cast on. Well, everything is tangled. I hate when that My happens. Oh, Same. I hate when... Oh, you and your nine inches. I'm obsessed with nine oh, inches. Oh, I love this yarn. Same. I'm sorry I made it, but I still love it. It's, you're allowed to love your own yarn. So this is our Shelly colorway from our um, spring chicken collection. And um, it comes with this gorgeous mini skein. And so I cast these on because, and I think I'm just going to do vanilla again. I love knitting mm. vanilla socks. I love knitting vanilla, but I'm craving a monkey. Because mm -hmm. okay. monkey socks are my favorite. Do you genetic. know what I'm actually craving? Is Kay Litton's heel toe do -si dough. I love that one. So I might actually mm -hmm. make heel toe do -si dough with these. I love that one. I do too. And I've, I think I've only ever knit them in a shorty. And then I was watching her podcast on Saturday. And she had knit a long one. And I was like, oh my 
my God, I want to knit that. The only thing I find with that one, and it's very common for me, like a denser sock, mm -hmm. is I should probably go up a needle size because they are a little tight. Oh, and I knit tight anyway. Mm, you might consider it. Maybe I'll go up. Mm, I don't know if I have a bigger one than this. We'll see. Yeah, you can see. Or just like really be but, aware of your gait, like your tension. Yeah, well, and I also block my socks. You'll be fine. So I think I'll be okay. You'll be fine. Um, but that's honestly, that's, I know I want to, um, go back to the books from last week. Do it. Because I had one that just went like haywire. Amazing. Well, and I started a new one, which I'm absolutely obsessed <sighs> with. And now that all of our Advent stuff is going to be up and running and I don't have to like focus as much energy on it. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to have a lot more mental space to read it. Yes. I agree with you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, Okay. So we are talking about last week, it's called Just Like Home. Mm -hmm. That's the cover, the pink. The pink one. Okay. It's the weirdest book I ever read. It went dark so quick. I really want to read it. It's, you know what it is? It went really dark and I was like, wow. Like, wow. Took you off guard. Took me off guard. But then how it like compounded this other, I, I do want you to read it because yeah. I want to talk about this other piece that is, I, I don't, maybe I wasn't reading it correctly. And I, it's Kindle Unlimited? Yes. I might just have to bite the bullet. I feel like you should. It's worth it. I do. I feel mm. like I should. Okay. Um, I liked it. I just, it's this one piece that I'm like, I can't wrap my head around mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm. But I liked it and it's incredibly dark. Like, see, listen, I can't watch Shogun. Yeah, but you can read that book. I can bed. read that book. Oh, yeah. In the middle of the night when I can't sleep. I wonder if it's because... The visual. Yes. The we visual. are visual people. Yeah. I feel like it just imprints. Yes. So, that. Now I'm reading Never Lie by Frida. What's her last name? I can never see. McFadden. McFadden. Mm -hmm. So, I have Kindle Unlimited, and I am finding it has... A lot of good, I was telling Chels, on Instagram, they do a lot of advertising for books on it. Mm -hmm. So I'm becoming aware of all these books that are on it. So I've been using it a lot, but never lie. I'm reading it, reading, going, I think I've read this before. Like nothing makes me matter, but I'm like, but I'm not sure. But God, this sounds so familiar, but I'm not sure. I don't think I have. That's why I love Goodreads. That's why I love tracking yes, what I've read because yes. I read a lot of World War II stuff. Oh, yeah. And so, you know, they can kind of all seem alike at some mm -hmm. points. So, yeah, anyways. Yeah. So, I'm really liking it. I mean, it's. A, it, I thought I had it figured out and come to find out I don't think I do. Really? So, that makes me happy because the other one, happens. the teacher one of hers, like yeah. I had that all figured out. Um. So never lie, it's on Kindle Unlimited. Okay. This might not be on Kindle Unlimited because it doesn't yeah. say that. Oh, yeah. That might have been the library. Okay. I think I had it reserved because somebody else was reading it. Okay. And I was like, oh, I need that. Okay. So never lie, my goal is to finish it tonight because okay. I'm at How like 80-some percent. You can do that. So I can finish it. So and then from the library, I got the measure. Now, again... I don't know why I reserved it. Somebody must have read it. Yeah, I do either that on all a the time. Podcast yeah. or you told me somehow I knew of it, and so I was like, I wonder what this is about. And so I read really quick the um, review of it and the synopsis or whatever they call it. And if I read correctly, all these boxes get delivered to people's doorsteps, and it ha I hope I'm remembering this correctly. Check me on it. And in each box is when they're going to die. The, that alone is very intriguing. Same. Like, where are they going to go with that? Like, I don't okay, know. So now what? I don't know. So I need to finish this because that's from the library. Listen, so airplane to, mode has become my best friend. I know. Same. That's what I'm doing right I, now with the book I'm reading. Don't you feel guilty though? No, I don't because it goes back to them anyway. Oh, it does? Yeah. They take the file back, but once it's downloaded onto your Kindle. I feel way better. I think. I'm pretty okay, sure they take I'm it gonna back. I'm going to do that real soon because I only have like 10 days to read it. Yeah. And I... I fall asleep earlier than I normally do, I'm finding. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because I start staring into space and I'm going to read in five minutes. Next thing you know, oh, it's I the know. next one. I know. So, I know. So, yeah, but I am, oh, I'm loving reading. I am too. And I am really am. I feel like these last, like, two to three days, my mind has been so preoccupied with Advent stuff. Oh, same. 
that it's just been like just too clouded. I can't get my brain to focus. So I'm really excited for tonight because I'm reading, um, I don't know if it's called The Horse or Horse. <gasps> horse. I'm pretty sure it's horse. horse. That would make sense based on, oh, where's my phone? Okay. I just want to make sure I get the... Um, I have that reserved. I've had it reserved for a long time. So maybe you'll get it after. Because <laughs> you away from it? me. Yeah. You got it through the library. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, it is by George, I think it's Georgette. No, I'm sorry, Geraldine Brooks. What's your next one that you're getting? Well, I don't know, but right now I'm listening oh. to the audiobook A Court of Frost and Starlight, and I'm only 17% through, and I'm like, I don't. Yeah. But I also have this one, which is Allie Hazelwood Below Zero. It's a super rom com y. It's only oh. four hours. <gasps> so I need to borrow. I know. So but I just. It. I'm going to borrow it. <laughs> I just get so Sorry. nervous. I don't know why. I, I'm a little nervous because I have that other one waiting and I haven't finished this one. I know. I think I'm going to return the Hazelwood and Frost. I mean, the. Oh, uh, you can get that another Frost. time. Yeah. I want to be excited to finish this series, and I'm not really no. that excited to finish this I, series. I could not get hooked in. I also am, I, I've been talking about this forever, but it's going to happen because summer's coming. I have to get to the library because I'm going to yes. need some physical and I books. Go with you. you can. Okay. You can. I want, I'm not, I'll let you. Don't you, worry. You are me. allowed. You are yeah. allowed. Um, I want to get, I, I want to hear that, you know, library book sound. Oh, I have one of those on my bedside oh stand my right gosh. now too. It's like a dot, the Dahlia Society or something oh, super oh. like springy and romantic. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. So I'm really looking forward to being outside. Me? Which is so too. not me. You have a much more manageable outdoor space here. I think that I think suits it. your personality a little I bit better. I think so too. I feel like it's not overwhelming. It's mm. not pool gardens and front of the house gardens that are full of creatures and tons of work. And here it's pretty simple. It's very like one-off, not mm -hmm. super deep garden. No, um, I'm excited. Yeah, I think it's gonna be, well, and your sunroom too, just makes oh. it. Cause like, that's like the perfect in between of like, you're kind of outside. I'm kind of outside. It's like my office used to be. Yeah, exactly. Mm. With the windows open, you're basically you're outside. You're basically outside. With a roof over here. Yeah, and four walls. <laughs> right. yeah. All right, we've had a busy morning. We have had I'm a busy tired. morning, and I feel like we should just run through the Advent oh, stuff yes, super of quick. So yes. we are we started recording this right after hopping off of an Instagram live where we announced all of the details of our 2024 Advent offerings. There's a lot. They will already be live as you're watching this because mm -hmm. I am not uploading it beforehand. Um, we have our four Sundays of Advent that we are doing again. And this one is, and I can actually put the graphics here. Oh, um, we can. They're so good. Let me, I just want to pull I it up. I can't remember the names of them. Oh, Bed Cookie Talk. Swap. Well, that one. Four Sundays. No, Four Sundays is oh, Bedtime yeah. Favorites. I'll dye them all in a row. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'll send you again, a whole synopsis I was with interested. pictures. <laughs> I was just so interested. I was so interested that I forgot. Oh my gosh. Okay. okay, so Bedtime Favorites Sunday Advent um, is our four Sundays, and they are going to be four of our most favorite colorways pulled from our full Advent, which is called... We've done this twice now. Like, I know. Why don't we just start talking about the full one and I then go to Bell? I know. This is what happened. I, I caught myself during the live. I'm like, why are we starting with this the one? It's because it's the picture that is up. We're right. talking backwards. Okay. So let's start over. Let's start over. Our full advent, which we are offering in fingering weight and DK okay. weight, um, is going to be called the Children's Bookshelf Advent Countdown. Cue it's the beautiful. image right here. Um, it is going to be did I already say? It's going to be offered in fingering and DK weight. And an add-on if you want it. Yes, we are going to do an optional add-on of a full 100 gram skein if you would like. Each of the mini skeins is going to be 20, 20 grams. grams. That's All of this point. information is going to be available on the website. If you're interested in shopping and just reading for yourself, click on the link down and below. And do read, do read what it is yes. so you're very clear of what you're getting. Yes. Um, we're going to be doing like a very small smattering of extras, nothing crazy. We had that question on the live of, is there going to be extras? Yes, yes. But as in previous years, we don't really focus on the extras. We really like to focus on the yarn and just have a couple little fun, fun things. Yeah. Um, so let's talk a little bit about what the theme is for the children's advent, children's bookshop the advent. theme is looking at our favorite 
children's books covers. Mm -hmm. And it might, I think 90% of the time it will be based on covers. Mm -hmm. um, and so we did encourage people to send us your favorites mm -hmm. because maybe we'll need a few extras. Um, and it's, I don't know, it feels very close to who we are. Agreed. It Agreed, does. for it sure. It just feels like, I don't know, I'm super excited about it. Mm hmm and super nervous at the same time because Advents are so nerve-wracking. <clears throat> they are so nerve-wracking. So nerve-wracking. I do think this one is going to be very well received. And, yes. Um, and please, we mentioned it. We've mentioned it in several places. Please order each Advent if you choose to buy more than one individually for the shipping, the boxes. It makes our life much easier so much if easier. you can remember to do that. If you forget, we will still love you. We'll work with you. We'll work with you. And don't add on any additional yarn that has nothing to do with the advent. Correct. Because then we're going to have to contact you, create a new shipping label. Charge you for the shipping Charge you label. for the shipping label. It's just a lot of extra steps. Yeah. So try to keep your orders separate. Mm -hmm. We also are not releasing the full amount now. We like to hold back a handful mm -hmm. for as it gets closer. It's a little more than a handful, I would say. Yeah. As it gets closer, some people can't afford them right now, and mm -hmm. that's so understandable, mm -hmm. and can't do it until closer to Christmas. So oh, right. we always try to have some available last minute because mm -hmm. we make mistakes. We miscount we do whatever and we always let you know like hey go now there's three in the shop right right so yes all very good points and then um so but then the four sundays the bedtime favorites, favorites is going to be our four favorite book colorways from this full advent that we're going to take and make micro sock sets out of that will be individually wrapped as they are every single year. Mm -hmm. um, and then our last offering is going to be a 12 mini skein kit and it is called Cookie Swap. Yes, Cookie Swap. I don't know how I get anything done. I know. 12, 12 days cookie, cookie exchange swap. mini. Cookie mini holiday minis oh my god <laughs> i'm like crashing i'm hitting my wall big we've time. been we've been at this for a while yes and that i'm so excited about so again dk offerings steel toe offerings 20 gram mini 20 gram minis mm -hmm. based on cookie swap ideas mm -hmm. and <gasps> that one came to me like that and i was so excited to share that one with it's you. gonna be so cool it's gonna be really fun so uh, oh it's making me hungry i'm starving i know as stressful as Advents are, I'm excited to get started. Mm -hmm. We will get started, uh, like, so hopefully soon, mm -hmm. because it does get overwhelming. Yes. But I'm also in the same state as you, and that's going to be a big help. Huge. Yes. And Dad will be retired. Yes. Another big help. Yes. We have so a lot more, more hands. For us. Yeah, yeah, more hands this time around. We might pull in Kristen to be a helper. Totally, we might Justin. Pull in Benny, Justin. Yep. Yeah. yeah. We've got all of our helpers. All our helpers. So, yeah, so no new yarn to show you, but we have all of our good faithfuls. Yeah. In the, the shop is the looking shop. great. The I'm shop is so nice excited. And full. Yeah, every time I get an order in for one item, mm -hmm. I do two to three, so then it builds the shop back up, so as orders come in, they're easier to fill, and that's taken six months to happen. That's even, that, I mean, that's impressive. That's I, an impressive turnaround. It is for all that was going on within those six months. Totally. I feel really good about it. I also feel like there was no other way to do it but slow and steady. Yes. And that's kind of our goal right now. That's the goal. That's our mantra. Slow and steady wins the race. Wins the race. Yeah. So, well, I'm out of words. I'm out of words, too. This is probably going to be a nice short episode for y'all. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, if you're interested in our Advent products, make sure you head down. Click on the link in our description, and it'll bring you right to those fun pre-orders. And a lot of people wonder when they ship. In my ideal world, they ship mid-October. Mm -hmm. That's I used to love to get them out before Rhinebeck mm -hmm. so that I could just breathe. Mm -hmm. How do we ever do this and needles up? I literally haven't. Did we do both? Uh-huh. 
Yeah, that's insane. I remember. That's insane. Along with Halloween, what, the Halloween one that we did with Natalie. Oh, yeah. 13 Screams. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Well, Who if knows? we get ahead enough. Yeah, if we get ahead enough. Oh, I love Halloween. Oh, something we didn't say. We are going to be offering a Hanukkah kit. Offering. We have not um, just ironed out the details yet. Yes. So stay tuned if you are hoping to see that. Yes. Cool. Creatively, we just ran out of... We maxed out. We maxed out. Yeah. And then I know there's not a million people that want them, but there are a handful of people that want them. So, yeah, our goal is to get them done. We didn't do them last year, and I felt it was bad. Too, it was too hard with the move. And yeah, that was why. I there was just why. too much going on. Yeah. Um, but we would like to offer that again this year. So, yeah. actually, you know what? If you are watching this and you are interested, if you are actually interested in purchasing one, mm -hmm. would you throw us a comment down below so we can kind of gauge, gauge. what the numbers are going to look like? Yeah. That'd be super helpful. Super helpful. Um, but yeah, otherwise, I think we are going to keep moving because we have a few more things we have to do before I head out. You got a lot done. But um, thank you so much for being here with us and for supporting us in all the ways. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe. Like and, and subscribe. Like all of the things that they say on the viral things. <laughs> and until next week. Could you imagine if we went viral? We're going viral. Once Meryl comes on with us. It's, it's over. She's going to be our first viral superstar host. guest. Oh, that too. All Poor right, Meryl. Everyone. She's like, I don't She's even like, want to know ladies, these women. Restraining order. <laughs> <laughs> Needles up, guys. Needles up. We love you. Bye. Uh